Hey Sagittarius, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my channel everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me today. This is going to be a tarot reading for all you Sagittarius watching and anyone dealing with a Sagittarius romantically. This is going to be helpful to see what's going on on their end and what their sort of thoughts uh, and takes are on a current situation. So um, Sagittarius, you may find yourself uh, thinking about a certain connection, about a person, about a conversation. Um, about uh, some developments that may have happened, anything that's sort of on the forefront of your mind. We're going to be looking into that today and see what's going on uh, on that side of things uh, and any sort of advice from the universe um, about those things as well. So we'll see what comes up here. Um, Sagittarius, we'll see what comes up in the cards here for you. So um, feel free to become a member on the channel to get access to bonus readings and extended reads. Anyone after a private reading, please email me. Otherwise, um, please subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. So, okay, let's get an overall card to get a better understanding of what you're facing in this situation as of now, as things are. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. So we've got some movement happening here, which is good. So I feel like there's a lot more stability around the situation than you think. Um, things might feel like they're at a standstill, uh, but they're actually moving slowly. I'm seeing some baby steps that are being made in this connection and things are happening as the days go by. So that's a good sign, okay? It can be around an earth energy so a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo um, it's the black horse so it's the dark horse right um, I feel like you might have underestimated a situation Sag or under underestimated this person and what they do now there may be some surprises in the works here as to how they handle things and I think this situation that you're going through is really showing you this person's true colors they are protecting themselves, though, because there is some intimidation. Uh, and it, I feel like whatever you were approaching with this person, it was big for them. Like if they'd never been in a relationship before, it was the prospect of connecting together. If they've never been engaged or lived with someone or ever posted pictures uh, as a couple, whatever it was, it was big for them and it was intimidating. So... I also think this could be you. You might have been super intimidated about this situation. You probably have never been in it before yourself. Okay, it is around a, a quite a big connection here. Possibly that Taurus. But he is the king of, of uh, he's the last king of the deck, the last figure of the deck. So it makes me think that Sagittarius, it, it, it seemed like it's all, an all or nothing situation. Someone wants it all or they want nothing at all with you okay I feel like this hasn't necessarily happened before uh, this hasn't um, this isn't the first time I feel like it may have happened before or you may have gotten some sort of glimpse or insight into this person in a previous situation. So I don't think you are unfamiliar with what's going on or how they may have been reacting. I think you I think you know what's up. I think you know what they're thinking and feeling because I feel you're connected to, to this person in some way. So it could be a Taurian energy, but it's quite a stubborn energy. So I feel like they're, the message for you, I think, is to overcome stubbornness with this person. Uh, but as you do so, you're trying to figure out how you feel because I think there is some confusion with the Seven of Cups um, because you're wanting different things and it's like you can't get the outcome that you want. The one, the outcome that you want doesn't appear to be um, working out as, as like a flow chart. It appears to be a little bit all over the place. But under under the underlying message was is that there's still progress being made so even if you think you know as the days go by as the weeks go by that nothing's sort of being done or nothing's moving between you and this person it actually really is um the king of pentacles tells us to remain patient in a situation so i feel like some of you are being made to wait 
So it could be a minor weight, it could be a major weight, but I think, I think it's going to be worth the wait. I do, because I think there is a reward coming and I see some compromises being made with the Three of Pentacles with the terms of a living situation or how emotions are dealt with. I don't know if this is someone long distance or someone foreign. Maybe you've connected from further afield, especially if you are in a long distance connection. Uh, that would, that'll explain a lot. That would do a lot. So, you know, you've got your head in the clouds here a little bit with the Seven of Cups. I feel like there's a situation where someone's being unrealistic about what they expect or what they want in a connection. Uh, I also feel like some of you are, in that there's someone here that's intimidated to the point that they may want to leave the ship set sail and things have been a little bit rocky, especially emotionally speaking. There's a lot of highs and lows with this person. It doesn't seem to be very stable. After this, though, I think you might be coming into more stability, which is good because that King of Pentacles is going to give you that um, that more calmed energy. I do feel like someone needs to work on themselves. This could be the both of you. There's 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 some work that needs to happen with the Eight of Pentacles. Some work to for for, for self improvement, maybe. But then you're kind of thinking, is it worth it? Like, I see you questioning, is it worth doing all this work for this person? Like, what am I getting out of it? How do I move forward? I think you've been fairly supportive of this person, uh, their dreams, their hopes, how they sort of want the relationship to go, where, where they see things going. I think you've been there a lot for this person, that, that support is showing up at the Three of Pentacles. And I think you've made a lot of sacrifices. And there could be someone here who's not grateful for the sacrifices that you've made. And the what I mentioned before about underestimating them is like them having the nerve, having the audacity to be ungrateful or um, upset at you. You know, that's their emotions. So they may be in a bit of a funk and they may be going back and forth about whether they want to work, whether they want to step up. Um, because they're still protecting themselves, I feel. They, they still have their guard up. They're not ready to get completely vulnerable with you not yet anyway maybe in time that's not to say that this person doesn't love you I, I i do feel like love is here and love exists between the both of you but to be honest i think they're confused and they don't really know what they want there might also be another person involved here uh, could be someone online or someone overseas or they have some sort of responsibility or some sort of tie to a different uh, city, state, or country, and that's somehow affecting the pacing. So remember, things might be very slow. There's still progress. Might not be as much progress as you probably want to see, Sag. So again, that's where I think the patience is coming in. And then it could be this other person or this other link, whatever this other commitment is, um, that could be further away. Maybe it's having like parents overseas or someone that they need to take care of or a beach house over like um, upstate or down south or whatever it is and that's somehow impacting whether this person is going to shape up or not and they're like well is it worth it to, for me to change for this person even though I'm not going to be seeing them as much or you know I, I see someone weighing things up here and going is the work going to be worth it type thing like I said, I don't think it's anything foreign. I think you've seen a side of this person like this before uh, and you might be seeing it again here and, and that's what's coming up in the cards. So yeah, I mean, you have the infinity symbol here. So I do think like there's a long-term potential between you and them or you've had this back and forth, this exchange that you're having now, you've had it before. It might've been in a different setting and it might have been on a smaller scale, uh, but it's still here. But I think you're both having some doubts, each to their own, but I sense 
some reservations on both your sides. Not about the same things, though. I think it's about different things. Uh, I, I do feel like money, money or where you want to lay down roots is, is coming up as an issue. So there's a differentiation there. Some of you are earning a lot more than this person. Uh, some of you, there's like a difference in class, like working class, upper class, you know, this, this different backgrounds, which really shouldn't matter, but somehow they are. Could be family having an influence here as well, though, the people around them or the people around you that are having a say, like, you know, you're too good for them, you're too above that, like, look at where you're at, look at where they're at, you know, there's, there's, there's a distinction here. So that's why I think on some level, you're both experiencing these reservations and you're both sort of unsure where to take things from here. Um, I do think they're going to show up eventually, though. I don't think they're just going to completely like leave you hanging and not give you anything to work with. I do think they're going to show up and they're going to do something. It's some sort of action, obviously, with, with that uh, Knight of Pentacles. Um, but some sort of action that they feel like you are deserving of and they will take the time to like think it through and, and give you that as well, um, Sag. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. It does mean a lot. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and also please subscribe to the channel. Uh, to anyone out there wanting private reading, please email me uh, to book in. Otherwise, uh, I'd love to have you become a channel member. You would get access to extended readings or bonus reads to join membership and become a member of the channel. All you have to do is click the join button and follow the instructions from the homepage of my channel. Um, otherwise, lots and lots of love. Here's Sag. So thank you again so much for tuning in. And until next time, bye for now.